Good afternoon, everyone. I, I, I see a lot of vets out in the crowd. I'd like to thank you for coming down to celebrate Veterans Day with us. Yeah. Um, I'm not a, a religious man, so this is one of my sacred holidays, being a veteran and respecting the service that those people who have raised their right hand and sworn to protect and defend the Constitution of the United States, that service that they put forward, I respect that. And I thank you all for coming down here to celebrate that with us. Um, what's been going on down here at the courthouse the last few nights? I'm coming down every night to find one of my comrades arrested, harassed. Uh, one of them has been rather uh, severely beaten simply because we are exercising those rights that all of you veterans have sworn to protect and defend. Uh, we have the Declaration of Independence over to our right. We, we need to get a copy of the Constitution in that same size. We are out here exercising our First Amendment rights, our Fourth Amendment rights. We're out here to redress grievances with a corrupt government. We, are, we govern ourselves under mutual consent, and we do not consent to the corruption. We do not consent to the militarization of the local police department. We had 30 cops down here with full riot gear and all sorts of wonderful toys. We're putting lights on the building. We put fences around, and at the same time, we're closing schools, and we're not feeding people. You know, they, they complain that we're out here feeding the homeless. People are trying to make a national joke out of us because they won't let us have some place for civilized people to go to the bathroom. That's right. This is the style of government that we are tired of, that we cannot tolerate anymore as a group. I spoke earlier about the service of veterans, and, and the Occupy movement is about service, service to community, service to your fellow people, creating safe spaces for people to exist, being free from poison air that is done simply to benefit a small group of people. We need to get back to a nation, or actually get to a nation, I, I should never use the word get back, because America has really never lived up to the promise that it makes, the PR. It's never really made that effort. But if we come together as a community now, we can become an exceptional America. We can live up to the promise. We are at heart a good people. The people I meet here every day are good people. And if you'll come out and support us, we will continue to stay here and work for that better world. Thank you.